Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today, I'll be talking you step by step through how to make this modern belt sleeve top. For this classy boat neck affair, we're using the lemon peel stitch, which offers a pretty texture with double slip ribbing for shape and three quarter bell sleeves just because it felt right. Speaking of, if it feels right binge watching crochet tutorials, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of the most modern crochet tutorials and patterns fit for every occasion with new patterns weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 400 grams of yarn, and that's 775 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5 and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if given the opportunity, would you ever travel to space? I totally would. Sounds like the adventure of a lifetime plus zero gravity crocheting. Who wouldn't want to try that? Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. This tutorial is made for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making an even number chain that starts at mid chest down to where we want the bottom of this top to be so you can make this cropped or full length. I'd like for mine to be full length, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 56 and that's 14 inches or 36 centimeters and I already have mine finished up so I'm just going to be doing a small sample size with you. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain 3. That chain three does not count as a stitch. That's our turning chain. Now we're going to do our first double crochet row. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook. Yarn over, pull through. We should all have three loops on our hook. So from here, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Again, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. That's our first double crochet. Let's do this again. Yarn over into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Continue with one double crochet into every chain. We have put one double crochet into every chain. Now our following row is going to be a back loop slip stitch row for some really pretty ribbing. So we're all going to chain one, flip our work, find that last stitch from our previous row, insert into that back loop, and when we have those two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Again, into that following stitches back loop, Insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and once more, you're going to insert into that next stitch's back loop, yarn over, and gently pull through everything. Continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And remember not to tug too tightly after every stitch, otherwise the following row could be a little too tight to work into. Our row two is all finished. Now for this middle detail, we're going to be alternating between a back loop double and a back loop slip stitch row. So right after our back loop slip stitch row, we're always going to chain three, preparing for our back loop double crochet row. Flip our work, that chain three still doesn't count as a stitch, and all we're gonna do is yarn over, find the last stitch from our previous row, insert into that back loop with a double crochet. Once more, yarn over, next stitch is back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. From here, continue with one back loop double crochet into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain one, Flip our work and one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. From here, we are all going to continue to repeat these two rows with no increases and no decreases until we have a chest detail that can reach from mid collarbone across our chest to mid collarbone. Then I'll meet you back right after a double crochet row. 
So I am back and my middle detail is all finished. Now I have a total of 19 rows and my width is roughly 6 inches or 15 centimeters that is unstretched. And right before we move on, our middle detail is going to slant just a little bit but that's completely fine. It is natural and it's actually going to even out once when it's all seamed up. So once we have our last row which should be a double crochet row, we're now going to get started on our side panel and that's going to be the lemon peel stitch. So from where we're at, let's all chain one and flip our work. So the lemon peel stitch is pretty simple. We're just going to be alternating between a single crochet and double crochet to reach the end of the row. So just find that last stitch from our previous row, insert with a single crochet into that following stitch with a double crochet. So pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do it just one more time into that following stitch, a single, and then into the stitch right after that, a double crochet. Continue on with this until we all have one stitch left. So we made our way all the way down with our lemon peel stitch. We should all have just one stitch left. The last stitch that everyone should have done should have been a single crochet since we made an original chain of even numbers for our middle stitch detail. Into that last stitch we're all going to be doing an increase of three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that last stitch with three double crochets. So into that stitch with one double, into that same last stitch with a second double, and then into that same last stitch with a third double crochet. Now we're going to be increasing into every fourth row, so this following row is not going to have an increase, so all we're going to do is chain one and flip our work. And now we're going to continue on with our lemon peel stitch. So a single crochet in the first stitch, double crochet in the next, and then continue that all the way down. So insert with a single into that following stitch, a double, into that following stitch, a single, and then into that following stitch a double and we're going to continue this all the way down and just as a really quick tip to get the texture that we want our stitches are going to be staggered from our previous row so our following stitch that we have to do is going to be a single crochet and that's going to be worked into our previous rows double crochet and we can tell that that is a double crochet because it's a little bit taller than the following row so into that next stitch is a single into the stitch right after that is a double that's basically it we're going to be doing three of these nine increase rows. So I'll meet you back when we have a total of four of these lemon peel stitch rows and I'll meet you back so we can increase together just once more. We are back. We have a total of four of our lemon peel stitch rows. We should have all ended along the bottom which is the opposite side of our increase row. I did insert a stitch marker into the end of my increase row just so I know which one's which. We're about to get started on our fifth row. So we're going to chain one, flip our work, do our lemon peel stitch all the way down, leaving the last stitch. All right, so we are back. We have made our way all the way up with our lemon peel. Now we're going to do our increase into that last stitch that we left. So everyone's last stitch should be a single crochet. And just like the previous increase into the last stitch from the previous row, we're going to insert with three double crochets. So there's one. Into that same last stitch, there's two. Into that same last stitch, there is three. And that is pretty much it. We're going to continue to repeat our four previous rows. So after this row, we're going to do three lemon peel stitches with no increases and no decreases, and then into that fourth stitch, a lemon peel stitch that ends on an increase of three double crochets. We're going to continue to repeat our four previous rows until we have a side panel portion that can reach all the way over to the corner of our underarm, and we must end right after an even number row, so along the blunt end. When we have the side panel finished up, I will meet you guys back so we can finish up with our underarm. We are back with our side panel. Now I have a total of six lemon peel stitch rows. This side panel width is roughly two inches or five centimeters, or my total width is eight inches or 20 centimeters unstretched. Now from here, we're gonna get started on our underarm. So first things first, we're gonna place this up to ourselves, making sure that the increase end is along the top and placing the top of our piece at about mid chest, keeping in mind that we will have a shoulder band as well. And what we're going to do from here is insert a stitch marker into an even number of stitches that's nearest to the corner of our underarm. So I've inserted my stitch marker into the sixth stitch from the top. That's just about an inch and a half or three centimeters. And since we all should have ended along the bottom, we're going to do our lemon peel stitch, making our way all the way up until we have three stitches left right before a stitch marker. So we are back. We are nearly finished with our first underarm row. We should all have one, two, 
three stitches left right before our stitch marker and now we're going to do a decrease of three double crochets. So everyone's last stitch should have been a single crochet. What we're going to do from here is yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last stitch, pull through, into that second to last stitch, pull through, and then into that last stitch which is the stitch right before our stitch marker, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over it and pull through the first four, leaving two loops on our hook, then yarn over and pull through two. Then from here we're all going to chain one and flip our work. Now we're going to be decreasing at the end of every other row. So since we are along the top working our way down, do your lemon peel stitch all the way down. At the end of the row, chain one, flip your work, lemon peel your way all the way back up, leaving the last three stitches so we can decrease together once more. We are back with our one, two, three, nearly finished with our third underarm row. We've made our way all the way up with our lemon peel stitches, leaving the last three stitches. We're just going to decrease together once more. So how we're going to do that is yarn over again. We're going to insert our hook into that third to last stitch, pull through, second to last, pull through, and into that last, pull through for one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Then yarn over, pull through the first four loops, leaving two loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through two. Then from here we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we can get an underarm portion that can stretch over to mid underarm, making sure that we end right after an odd number row or along the top. Once we have that, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we are back and one entire side panel is finished. Now I have a total of 11 rows. This width is roughly three and a half inches or nine centimeters unstretched, or now my total width is nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters also unstretched. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. And now we're just going to repeat everything we did here on the other side. So inserting your hook into the bottom corner stitch of our middle detail, we're going to repeat. So chain one, that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, and then do our lemon peel stitch for the same amount of rows with the same increases and the same underarm. When we have the same side panel all finished up, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you back to get started on the back. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up the entirety of our front panel. I have a total of 13 inches or 33 centimeters unstretched now. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row, and now we're gonna get started on our back panel. So we're all going to get started by making a chain for the same amount of stitches that we have for our last underarm row. For those of you that have my numbers, I had a total of 48 stitches, so I will now be making a chain of 48. Now that we have our chain, we're all going to get started with our first row. It's going to be another lemon peel stitch row. So block off that last chain and do a chain one into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. You're going to insert starting with a single crochet into that following chain is going to be a double crochet and that's it. Continue on with our lemon peel stitch, making our way all the way down, leaving the last chain. We've made our way all the way down with our lemon peel stitch, leaving the last chain. Everyone's last stitch should have been a single crochet. So into that last one, we're going to do an increase of three double crochets. So yarn over into that last chain with one double, same last chain with a second double, same last chain with a third double crochet. Now from here, we're going to be increasing into every other row because we decreased into every other row for the underarm for the front panel. So to get started on our even number row, we're just going to chain one, flip our work, start with a single crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet, and continue this making our way all the way down. From here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows. So every odd number row is going to end on an increase of three double crochets. And then every even number row is just going to be a regular lemon peel stitch row. Continue to repeat these two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows as the front panel. So for those of you that have my numbers, I did a total of one, two, three, four, five underarm rows for the front panel. I will meet you back right after my five underarm rows are finished. All right, so I am back. I have just finished up my underarm portion for the back panel. Once we have the total amount of rows that we need for the underarm portion, we're now going to make a chain for the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on the front panel's underarm. So for those of you that have my numbers, I skipped a total of six stitches. So after my last back panel underarm row, I made a chain six. Now all we're going to do from here 
is do our lemon peel stitch rows working our way across our back with no increases and no decreases. So where we're at, chain one, flip our work, and do our lemon peel stitch all the way down. At the end of that row, chain one, flip your work, and work your way back up. We're just going to continue to repeat our lemon peel stitch row with no increases and no decreases until we have a back panel that can reach from mid collarbone across our back to mid collarbone, making sure that we all end along the bottom or right after an even number row. Then I'll meet you guys back to finish up with our underarm portion again. I am back. The entirety of the width of my back panel is finished. I have a total of 30 rows. This width is roughly nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters. Then I went ahead and did the same underarm that we did for the front panel. So just as a refresher, insert your stitch marker into the same amount of stitches that you skipped for the front panel, work our way all the way up and then close off our row with a decrease. And then we're just gonna be decreasing into every other row and continue to do that until we have the same amount of underarm rows as the front panel. When we do, do a chain up of one and cut. Now for me, I went ahead and did my five underarm rows cause that's how many underarm rows I have for the front panel. And I now have a total of 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. So now we're gonna seam it all together. So let's place our front panel on top of our back panel. So placing our front panel on top of our back panel, we're going to want to make sure that the ribbing that we have for the front panel is faced down because that is going to be our detail. And we want this seam to be along the inside. Next, we're gonna insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Then we're going to do a single crochet seam. So let's all insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through everything and do a chain up of one to secure. Next, let's all start by finding that first available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, find that first stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and if you don't want to weave in your tail ends later, place your tail end over your hook and single crochet around everything. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert. To that next available stitch into the back panel, insert and single. Now we're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way up. When we don't have any more stitches left to work into, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat on the other side. So now that everything is all seamed together, the next thing we're going to do is get started on the band. So first things first, we're going to flip our work right side out, meaning the seams that we just did are along the inside, and then we're going to take a look at the back. We're all going to start by inserting our hook into the top corner stitch of the back panel, and then we're all going to make an even numbered chain that can reach around our shoulder, to the corner of the front panel. So I have already measured mine out. I needed roughly four and a half inches or 11 centimeters, and that's just about a chain 20. So I already did that. Once we have our chain, we're all going to single crochet it into the top corner stitch of the front panel. So let's flip our work over. So now that our work is flipped over, we're all going to single crochet into the top corner stitch of our front panel. That is going to count as a stitch. So insert your hook with one single crochet and from here, we're going to have a bunch of side lemon peel stitch rows to work into. So from here to here, we're just gonna be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So we just inserted our first single crochet into this first side row. Now let's find our following side row and insert into there with two single crochets. So find that top loop and insert with one, and then into that same top loop, insert with a second single crochet. Now just to do this again, we're gonna find our following side row. This one's mine right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with just one single crochet. And then into my following side row, which is this one right here, insert with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two. Now for this portion, continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So now that we've made our way over to the middle of our front panel detail, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side double crochet row, and then one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So again, this is our first side row, should be a side double crochet for everyone, so just find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there is two. Everyone's following side row should be a side slip stitch row, so find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. Continue doing this all the way across our front panel detail. Once we reach our side lemon peel stitches again, Continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Then once we reach this top corner stitch, make the same chain that we made on this side. So for me, a chain 20, single crochet into the top corner stitch of the back panel. And then since the entirety of our back panel is lemon peel stitches, alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Make your way all the way around and slip stitch into that chain space. Now when this entire single crochet slash chain row is finished, 
trying your piece just to make sure that everything is fitting the way that you would like for it to fit. And now would be the time that we can adjust our band. But once we have that all finished up, I will meet you guys back. So we have made our way all the way around with our first single crochet slash chain row. From here, we're gonna be doing another single crochet row. So from where we're at, chain one, and just put one single crochet into every chain, one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain space when this row is finished. Now, right before I meet you guys back to get started on the height of our shoulder band, once when the single crochet row is finished up, we all wanna make sure that this can fit around us. Now, I know that this first row, we wanted to make sure it can fit around us, but the single crochet row that we're about to do is going to be as wide as this portion can stretch. So just try on your piece, double check and make sure that everything is fitting right where you want it to fit. And then if not, you can also make adjustments here and then the shoulder band should be completely fine. I'll meet you back once the single crochet row is finished up. Our single crochet row for our shoulder band is finished. Everything fits, so now we're gonna get started on the height of our shoulder band. Now right after we've slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to make a chain the height that we'd like for our shoulder band to be. I'd like for mine to be just about an inch or two centimeters, so I made a chain of five. Once when we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then from here, we're gonna insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. Go ahead and insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull through everything with a slip stitch. Let's do this again. Into that following chain, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue with one slip stitch into every chain. We've put one slip stitch into every chain. Now we're gonna connect it into the base. So finding that next available stitch that we have into the base, we're gonna slip stitch into there. So insert, pull through everything. And that slip stitch is not gonna count as a stitch, we just needed to connect it. Now we need to work our way up to the following row. So find that next available stitch into the base. Insert into there with another slip stitch that still doesn't count as a stitch and flip our work. From here, we're going to be doing back loop slip stitches. So find that first stitch from our previous row, not those two slip stitches into the base. Insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And again, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of the row, chain one, flip your work. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again and I'll meet you back at the base. We are back in our first one, two, three rows are nearly finished. Now we're gonna slip stitch it into the base. So just like how we did our previous rows, find that next available stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Now that odd number row is connected. Then we're gonna work our way up to the following row. Again, same way we did the previous row. Into that next available stitch into the base, insert with a slip stitch, flip our work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch and that is it. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat these two rows making our way all the way around and when we don't have any more stitches left to work into, I'll meet you back so we can seam it all together. All right, so we are back. We have made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows and now we're going to seam everything together. So now we're going to insert our hook into the first available stitch into the front and first available stitch into the back panel. So inserting your hook into that first available stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop only. Into that next available stitch into the back panel, we're gonna insert into that back loop only. When we have all three of our loops on our hook, then we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do this again. First stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop only. First stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop only then yarn over and pull through everything. We're gonna continue this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into, and when we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so now that our shoulder seam is all seamed up, the next thing we're going to do is our sleeve. So first things first, let's make sure that our work is still flipped right side out. We're gonna be inserting our hook into the stitch that we have that's nearest to our side seam. Then we're all going to insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. What we're going to do from here is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, one single crochet into every stitch, and then one single crochet into every chain that we made for our shoulder band, and then same thing all the way back down. So let's just do our first few side rows. This is mine right here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert into that top loop, and insert with a single crochet. Now this is my following side row right over here. I'm gonna find that top loop and insert with two single crochets. So there is one, and then into that same top loop with my second. 
and that's pretty much it. We're gonna make our way all the way around and we do wanna make sure that we are all ending on an even number of stitches. If you end on an odd number, go ahead and just insert an extra stitch into that last side row. Slip stitch into that chain space and then I will meet you back. All right, so we are back. Our first single crochet row is all finished up. Now we're gonna get started with our lemon peel stitches, which is pretty simple. All we're gonna do right after we've slip stitched into that chain space is chain one and flip our work. Now from here, we're just going to do our lemon peel stitches all the way around, leaving the last four stitches. So we wanna make sure that we're inserting our hook into the last stitch from our previous row, making sure that we're not inserting our hook into that slip stitch that we did that connected the beginning to the end of our row. That slip stitch was just to connect it, it doesn't actually count as a stitch. So insert into that first available stitch with a single, into the next with a double, and continue this until we all have four stitches left. So we have made our way all the way around with our lemon peel stitches, leaving the last four stitches. Now we're gonna close off our row with a single crochet into the fourth to last stitch, and then a decrease of three double crochets, just like how we did our underarm. We've just finished up that single crochet and decrease of three double crochets and slip stitched into that chain space. Now from here, all we're gonna do is chain one, flip our work, making sure that we are flipping our work, and then we're going to do our lemon peel stitches all the way back around. So just like our underarm, we're only going to be decreasing into every other row until this portion becomes nice and snug on our arm. Once when it is, I'll meet you back right after an even number row, and then we can get started on the length of our sleeve. All right, so I am back with the first portion of my sleeve. This is just the decrease portion, and I ended on a total of 10 rows, and my width is roughly three inches or eight centimeters. Now what we're going to do from here is just the same lemon peel stitch rows, now without any increases or decreases until we reach our elbow, and then we're all gonna get started on our bell sleeve together. So when we're wrapped, just chain one, flip our work, do our lemon peel stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you back right after an even number row. All right, so I am back. The length of my sleeve is all finished. I have a total of 26 rows. This length is roughly eight inches or 20 centimeters. And after my last row, I did do a chain up of one and cut. Now what we're all going to do from here is insert a stitch marker where we want the point of our bell sleeve to be. So what I did was I tried on my piece and what we're all going to do from here is insert a stitch marker that is an even numbered stitch away from the tail end right at the outside of my elbow. So say if I'm looking straight forward at you, I would like for you to be able to see the point along the sides. So making sure that we're all counting in the opposite direction that our previous row is working into, I have inserted my stitch marker into the 12th stitch away from my tail end. Now to make sure we're working in the opposite direction, since we all should have ended on an even number of rows, our following row is going to be worked counterclockwise or you would see the front of the row. So just taking a look at the top of our last row, each of our stitches is in a teardrop shape. The rounded side of the teardrop is in the direction that we were working into. So since I was working in this direction, I'm going to be working in the opposite direction. Now from here, we can get started on our bell. So getting started on our first bell sleeve row, so we're all gonna start by switching our hook out to our six millimeter hook into our stitch marker stitch. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through and start with a chain three. Now that chain three does not count as a stitch, we just want the height. And we're all gonna start with an increase of three double crochets into that same stitch that our chain is in. So there's one double crochet. Here is my second and here is my third double crochet. And from here, we're gonna continue on with that lemon peel stitch per usual. So everyone's following stitch should be a double crochet. So just single crochet into there and into the following double crochet. Continue on with this, making our way all the way around until we all have one stitch left. So I have made my way all the way around, leaving my last stitch. Into that last stitch, we're gonna close off this row with another increase of three double crochets. So yarn over into that last stitch with one, into that same last stitch with two, and then once more into that same last stitch with three double crochets. Now to close off the row, all we're gonna do is count up that chain three that we did when we started off this row. So here's one, two, three, and slip stitch into that third chain. And now our first bell sleeve row is finished. Now let's just do our following bell sleeve row and then it's going to be a repeat. So getting started, we're all going to chain three and flip our work. Our bell sleeve rows are always going to start and end with an increase of three double crochets. So yarn over, find the last stitch from our previous row, making sure that it's not that slip stitch, 
an insert with an increase of three double crochets. So there's one, there's two, there is three. Then right after that increase into that following stitch, it's going to start with a single crochet. So getting started on our lemon peel stitch into that following stitch, which is a double crochet into the following with a single and continue on with our lemon peel stitch, making our way all the way around. I'll meet you back when we all have just one stitch left. Our second bell sleeve row is nearly finished. Now all we're going to do into that last stitch that we left for ourselves is another increase of three double crochets. So yarn over into that last stitch with, oops, one double crochet, with two double crochet, and then with three double crochet, and then just to close out the row, slip stitch into that third chain, chain three, flip our work, and then repeat. We're gonna continue to repeat this row until we get the sleeve length that we want. And then once we do, do a chain up of one and cut, and then repeat on the other side. All right, so I'm back. The total length of my sleeve is finished. I have a total of 37 rows. My total length is 12 inches or 30 centimeters. I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row and I repeated everything I did here on the other side and now I am all finished. Now the last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.